Hello guys, it is Jansen here. Now I'm doing a very quick impromptu smasher session um, because something has been brought to my attention that I thought you guys should know about, uh, especially if you are Amazon sellers. So I thought do a live session, get it out there into the open so that you guys can benefit from it as soon as possible. So I have been made aware of something over the past few months that um, initially I kind of wrote off because it didn't really make too much sense to me, but I've spent quite a bit of time speaking with people uh, in the Facebook groups, on Twitter, etc. And it does appear to be legitimate. So in a nutshell, pay attention if you are an Amazon seller, because this is going to save you quite a bit of money. In a nutshell, the entity that charges Amazon fees is based in Luxembourg or somewhere that should not be charging VAT. So what this means is that Amazon have incorrectly been charging their sellers VAT on fees. And I don't know the technicalities of why or why they're still doing it, um, but it appears that you can get a refund on VAT paid on fees if you've been selling on Amazon. And, you know, like I say, I've been made aware of this a couple of months ago, and I, I, I initially thought that doesn't really make too much sense. Why would they be doing it? But I've seen a number of people now getting huge refunds on VAT paid. So I thought, do you know what? I need to get this out to the community because it's, it's not really that well known at the moment. There's quite a lot of chat about it on Twitter. And I've had a couple of people message me on Facebook Messenger saying, you know, you ought to be aware of this. So, um, you know, it is working and Amazon are actually reimbursing thousands of pounds uh, to people around the country. The only criteria that you need to have is obviously that you've actually sold something on Amazon. So you've paid Amazon fees, that you're a limited company or a sole trader. And if you've been following my guidance in the Smashers Academy, then you will be one of those and that you're not VAT registered and in all likelihood, you're not going to be VAT registered. So let me just share my screen so you guys can see this. I appreciate I've just I'm doing this session like completely impromptu, um, but you can follow this along in your own time. So uh, this is basically a summary of what I've just said. So if you're an Amazon seller and you're not VAT registered or you previously um, sold on Amazon as somebody not VAT registered, then in all likelihood, you could be due a big refund on VAT that you paid, uh, which is going to be 20%, right, of, you know, uh, Amazon fees, fulfillment fees, storage costs, etc. The only thing that you can't reclaim it on is advertising. And the reason for that is because the entity that charges sellers for advertising is based in Ireland, I think, or the UK. So it works slightly differently. So here are the steps to follow. Remember, the only criteria you need is limited company, sole trader, and you've actually sold. So you need to log into your Amazon account and you need to go into Amazon seller support in the top right, there'll be a little question mark. Um, you'll be shown this page here, rather than typing anything out, just press the uh, button here in the bottom left corner that says browse for your issue in the menu. Then press request a VAT refund on Amazon fees. And then you can either type this out exactly or just do your own version. But the key things that you need to say are that you are a UK resident that just sells in the UK marketplace. Your annual turnover is less than £85,000, which is the VAT threshold and your company is not VAT registered. So I've written that out here, um, and this has come from somebody that was successful in getting the reimbursement. So, um, you know, you can trust that this does work. Then you can basically reconfirm what we just said and then say, I would therefore like to request a refund for VAT paid on all Amazon fees on my account. And then please could you look into this and confirm the refund will be processed. And then, you can either leave it at that. I personally would just skip to the next step, which is where they'll reply and say, can you provide certificate certificate of incorporation and any other documents to prove that you're not VAT registered? So I would just say attached is my certificate of incorporation and annual accounts showing less turnover, less than 85,000. Obviously, if you've only just started selling, you won't have that. But if you do have it, make sure you attach it. 
And then, you know, like with any time that you communicate with seller support on Amazon, just try and make it as clear as possible. So you say our business name is, and then put it, we've been trading on Amazon since, and then put the date. And then we would therefore like to be reimbursed VAT on fees paid since, and then put the date in. So once you've done that, um, you will probably get a reply from seller support. They may ask you additional questions. They may not. They might just say, yep, we're processing it. Uh, but just, you know, pay attention to that. And then from what I've seen on Twitter, in the groups, etc., refunds can take up to three months because I guess they've got a huge backlog of people requesting this. But it will get processed, right? And this is huge. There's people out there that have had VAT refunds of over £3,000. I did a quick uh, search on Twitter and found somebody posted their result here. They got a reimbursement of £3,400 nearly, which is awesome. I mean, you know, for those of you that, you know, might have spent a bit more on pay-per-click advertising or you've been impacted by shipping costs or whatever, this is like a bit of a godsend, really. And it also means as soon as you do alert uh, Amazon seller support to it, that they're going to move you to a VAT exempt category, uh, like Amazon's version of being VAT exempt, which means you're not going to get charged VAT on fees anymore, which is great. Uh, so I just wanted to uh, put this video out in the open to show you guys uh, a little trick to, you know, recouping a significant, a possibly significant amount of cash. Shout out to Alex and Tom of the Honest Entrepreneurs who messaged me about this a few months ago. And, you know, given my accounting background, I kind of wrote it off and thought, surely not. Surely that can't be legitimate. But, you know, I've done a bit more digging on the Twitter groups. I've had a couple more conversations with people on Facebook. Um, there's another guy called Arv King and FBA Spider on Twitter as well who have posted, you know, instructions of what to do basically what I've said here. So um, guys, let me know how you get on. I have told a couple of students about this over the past few weeks and they've done it and they've had positive responses. Um, but yeah, make sure you do it and let me know how you get on in the comments. And if you have any questions, just shoot them across. So um, hopefully that's made your week. And um, yeah, that's it from me. Enjoy. See you later.